So we've had a lot of discussion about vectors here. And with values, we can multiply those together, right? Five times three is 15. But if we're talking about vectors, how do we multiply vectors? Well, there are two kind of main ways what we consider multiplication of vectors. And what I'm gonna cover here in this lesson is the dot product. So let's move over to the desktop view. So what is the dot product? Well, it's a type of vector multiplication. And what we're gonna input, our input is two vectors. And when we perform this calculation, the output is going to be one scalar. So one scalar or just one value. So it's not going to have a direction attached to, uh, to this value, okay? So it's just a scalar. So graphically, if we have two vectors, A and B, And we know the magnitude of each of these vectors, and we know the angle between these two. We can write the dot product as, right, this means dot product, A dot B, is the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors, this theta here. Okay, so that is how we calculate the dot product if we're given two magnitudes and the angle between two vectors. It's probably more common that we get the dot product in terms of Cartesian coordinates. All right, so we're given two vectors, right? So we, we're given A has um, the components AX, AY, and AZ. And we're given the vector B, which is BX, BY, and BZ, right? And we're looking to find A dot B, all right? So if we're given the vectors like this, it's, it, we could do it, but it'd be very difficult, right? Or, it would be more difficult to find the magnitude of these two vectors first and the angle between these two vectors so we could use this equation. So instead we just use this equation which is nothing more than AX times BX plus AY times BY plus AZ times BZ. Okay, so this is, uh, notice that there's no i, j, k components in here. We just add these all together so we get a single value out of this. So given two vectors, you can find the dot product like this. So let's give, so we, I think you know how to perform this calculation, but let's give a little more context to this. So let's give a special uh, situation. All right, we're given two vectors and I keep using the vectors A and B, but it makes it easy. So A and B. So what, if we ask the question, what is the magnitude? Of vector A along vector B. So what is the magnitude of vector A along vector B? So, for example, we would project this down onto vector B here, right? So if we projected this onto vector B, we would look for this value here. What is that magnitude if we projected this onto vector B? Now, we can see that graphically, but how do we solve it analytically here? So there are two steps, all right? The first step is scale vector B to a unit vector.
and I showed you how to do that in uh, a previous lesson. So we'll we'll write that as U B here. Um, but basically, we just take the components of B, each component of B, and divide it by its magnitude. And remember, uh, the magnitude of B is just the sum of the squares of all of its components, and then you take the square root of that. So we scale B to a unit vector. Okay, so U B is the each component. of B divided by the magnitude all right so that's the first step and then the second step is we take the dot product of a dot UB so that would be the answer. What is the magnitude of A along vector B? We would perform this calculation. We have all the components of A and we have all the components of the, the unit vector along B here. And we would just take the dot product of those two and that would be the magnitude of A along vector B. So that is the dot product. 